not acceptable. That's how Seattle's openly gay mayor describes the hate crimes against the LGBTQ community that have been happening in his city and in one neighborhood in particular. King 5's Natalie Swavey live where a public forum wrapped up just a short time ago. Well, that's right. It was a packed room inside the church here with several community leaders attending this forum, including the mayor. Now, the mayor has called the Capitol Hill neighborhood his home for nearly three decades. And tonight, he says these recent reports of hate crimes are unfortunately familiar. A night out turned into a night that's hard to forget for Jonathan Halsey. Like, like, I guess he like heard us talking, and I guess that's when he, like, yelled that word out. The but. word, a homophobic slur, was hurled at Jonathan and his two friends by a man they did not know, and it didn't stop there. Basically spit in my face and then came towards me, and then that's when I defended myself. A police officer was nearby, and the man who allegedly attacked Jonathan was arrested and charged with malicious harassment last month. It's one of several hate crime cases the prosecutor's office already has on file this year. Seattle police report an uptick in that kind of violence. The most recent example, a man reportedly yelling slurs at this value village on Capitol Hill. He was arrested yesterday. And I know the dialogue will be difficult. It's one of the many reasons the mayor and his husband are speaking out tonight. I think there is an increase. I mean, we've been here before. We've seen this right on this very street before in the late 80s and early 90s when I was a young person. We're seeing it again. But it's important to start talking as a community. The frustration fueled this forum and brought together community leaders who say it's time to talk about the hate on the hill and throughout the city. Try to like something Jonathan wishes he had not seen up close. It has been like getting more violent. But there's also more people joining the cause to end the hate crimes. And council member Salon organized tonight's forum for nearly two hours. People discussed how the city, police, and community groups can work together moving forward on this issue. Live in Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.